let's get started with the makeup. So first I'm taking this moisturizer. I never know how to say the name right, but it's their nighttime moisturizer and I really, really like it so far. Next I am taking the Too Faced Hangover RX primer and this smells amazing. And then I'm also taking the Professional to fill in some of my pores like my nose, my chin, and my forehead. I just really think it helps minimize the look of my pores, which is nice because I have large pores. Next, I am taking the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation, and this is in the color 2.0, I believe. And I'm putting that all over my face and blending it out with this um, e.l.f. blending brush, I think it's called. Um, it doesn't really have a name, it's just the blending brush that's flat top. up my dark circles and bling that out the beauty blender with the NYX Ultra HD concealer in there. And I'm setting my whole face with the Stay Matte Translucent Powder by Rimmel. shades in the shade and light palette by Kat Von D and contouring underneath my cheeks and bronzing up my whole face. Minerals palette and taking that dusty rose color and placing that all over my cheeks and taking the light pink highlight color and highlighting the high points of my face. Now I'm taking my Too Faced Chocolate Bomb Bomb palette in that light brown color and almond truffle and placing that into the crease just to have a nice blending color for all of our shadows. And then I'm taking Mocha and Borox, I believe that's how you say it, and placing that just right over that to kind of give depth to the eyes. taking my favorite eyeshadow of all time is the NYX Dance the Tides and placing that right above the crease. I think it just gives a really nice warm up look to the eyes. And then taking Carbon by MAC and a little small pencil brush, I'm blending that right into that V shape just to really, really give that sultry kind of sexy look that a lot of times the pinup doll pad. Now I'm taking that yellowy like color and placing that on my lid and then taking all the browns and black and just smoking out my lower lash line to really tie in that sultry look. I did line my waterline and 
my upper lash line, and now I'm taking the plump, no, the CoverGirl Lash Blast, the original orange one, on my eyelashes, and now I'm taking Red Velvet Revlon Lip Butter onto my lips, because I really wanted a rich color, and then I take the Revlon Color Stay in Candy Apple and just place that over it, and it gives a really nice, like, dark but still true red color with the gloss over it. Then I took out all my pin curls and combed them through with my hair and then I teased my bangs and put them back so they gave this really pretty poof and pinned those up and then I threw in this red feather that I thought would go good with the outfits and it was kind of 1940s that I thought maybe Emma would wear to a party or something like that or one of the girls in the, the book. For my shoes, I'm wearing bow shoes that I got from Ross, which are really, really cute. I got them for 10 bucks, And then I also got the dress from Ross, and it has like a nude underlay over the black overlay, which was really, really cute. And then I just threw on some earrings, and I called it a day for the outfit. And that is the look. I hope you enjoyed my rendition of a 1940s peculiar child. And till next time, love.